Hi, welcome to Gramster. Today I'll be setting up the Foscam R2C. This is our 1080p wireless IP camera. First thing is, plug the power adapter into this unit, right over here. Because it takes about anywhere from 20-30 seconds or so for it to boot up. And then also, iron Android device or iOS device, search for the app called Foscam. It's this bluish app with a white cloud. And let's launch the app here. So there will be voice prompts coming from this. I'm waiting for the voice prompts to come up. Hello, Foscam. That was the first one. Ready for Wi-Fi configuration. Okay, so now it says it's ready for Wi-Fi configuration. Now, next thing I'm going to do is inside the Foscam app, I'm going to press this plus button. I'm going to choose camera for my device. It's going over the instructions also. Yes, I already plugged it in. And now it wants to scan the QR code. So the QR code is situated right on the bottom of the cam of the Foscam camera. And I can choose wired setup or wireless setup. I'm going to choose Wi-Fi. Ready for Wi-Fi configuration. Yes, I heard ready for Wi-Fi configuration. So I'm going to hit ready for this button right here. Now I'm just going to enter my password for my Wi-Fi. For Wi-Fi configuration, please point the QR code to the camera Ready directly. For wifi configuration. So I'm point this QR code at the camera. What I also notice is right after I hit next, Wi-Fi connecting. The screen dimmed. Yeah, this should have been the opposite effect, but that still worked. Hit next. Wireless connection succeeded. Great. Camera added successfully. So here's the R2C. So I'll need to choose a new camera name and new passwords. Once I finish entering my new camera name and password, hit submit. And I can right here just says little tutorial. I can, I can pinch and zoom. So tap here to view your cloud history. Tap here to view camera settings page. All right. Hello there. I can also view it this way too. On upper left, that tells me the date timestamp. This is incorrect, so I need to resync it. Upper right, this is the well, there's a push notification. I said motion was detected. It's currently streaming at 110 kilobits, kilobytes per second. And here's my camera name, R2C. Let me set up this camera here for a minute. Let's go over some of the functions here. Here's my plan. Camera sleep mode. I can have it enabled if I want to. And once I hit enabled, the camera, the lens, retracts in under here. I'm going to set the sleep mode off again. I'm going to turn it off. Next we have remote control skill. This can work with Alexa. Pretty sure I need to install this skill on my Alexa too. Check for fir newer firmwares. So the this tells me what my current firmware is and also what I can patch it to. Yeah, first thing I'm going to do is turn off that motion detection. Not sure why they kept that on as default. Let's say alarm settings, motion detection. I'm going to set that off. The default currently says sensitively low trigger interval 10 seconds. I'm going to turn that off here. Video settings. I can overlay time, show camera name, network auto adaptability. Here's the security settings if I want to change the name or password again. Reboot the camera prompt settings. So here I can it says status LED or voice prompt. I'm going to keep them on for now. Set back here. Oh, there's advertisements in here. 
Let's see what else is there. Camera info. Then we also have sync time. Okay, now if I go view the camera, now it shows the correct date time. Let me try the microphone. Hello there. Oop. Feedback, too close. Not a good test right now. See, I can set up additional features, motion detection, night, or mirror. I can also schedule it if I want to. Here's the, I can flip the mirror either horizontally or vertically. And for motion detection, let me turn that off. Don't need that right now. And here's the H, I can choose full HD, HD, or SD. I'm gonna try full HD. Hmm. I'll need to examine the uh, final recording later to see how it is. But I also notice when I switch to full HD, the text, the overlay text, is also smaller. Let me just let's go to SD. See how the text is bigger. So this is probably like a 640 resolution HD. Is probably I'm just guessing here. 720 full HD, and this is most likely the 1080p. So what I'm going to do now is close the app and turn off my phone Wi-Fi. So I'm disconnected from Wi-Fi. I'm going to launch the app again, and I should still view the R2C. reason I can still view it is because I'm going through their cloud. Their cloud service. I don't need to do any sort of port forwarding like the older Foscam units. I'm going to turn off my desk light here and I'm also going to cover the light sensor on top of the unit. And we can see that the infrared LED illuminated. The other thing I want to show is just the firmware upgrade. To upgrade the firmware, simply press this button. And now it's updating. Some of the other controls on the bottom over here, I can take a video, I can take a snapshot. The speaker, if I press it right now, I'll get too much feedback, I'm too close to the camera. And this button right here allows me to control the unit, or pan tilt. And just turn it to the right, turn it up. Hi! They also have a zoom button, but this is not an optical zoom unit. So if I were to press any of the zoom buttons, it doesn't really work. To zoom, I got to pinch zoom. Thanks for watching this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching for Hamster.